Building the perfect March Madness bracket, man. We got all 68 teams. It's really 64, but you know, there's like 68 teams because you got the first four. But anyway, let's get straight into the video, man. We got the number one overall seed in the UConn Huskies. I've seen them play IRL, saw them win the Big East Championship, and they're tough. They got a seven footer. They got some good guards. Um, they're a tough team, and they can shoot. Uh, so they're going to end up going far, but we're going to go you know, round by round and then back to back. So bear with me. I am making my own uh, bracket that y'all could join. Winner's going to get like $100, you know. Maybe it'll be more. We'll see. But uh, link will be in bio so y'all could check that out. But let's get back into it. Northwestern against FAU. FAU shocked the world last year with their uh, pretty good run. Um, Northwestern is not bad, though. Northwestern's not bad. I'm going to go ahead and take Northwestern uh, in this first, I guess, upset of the week. San Diego State is one of the better teams in the Mountain West. Um, I'm going to take them over UAB. If I'm going to be honest, I don't know who the hell plays for UAB, if I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Auburn seems like an easy take over Yale. Now, right here, DeQuins, like, they're cool, but I just, I don't know, bro. BYU, I think they, I think BYU played Houston pretty well this year. So I think BYU gets this, but it's definitely going to be, um, I think it's going to be one of the closer games, like whatever. Um, I don't want to just be picking all favorites, but best believe we're not going to be doing that because I have a couple upsets coming up. But Illinois, easy dub of Moorhead State. Once again, Moorhead State, who the hell's watching them? Right here, we got Drake over Washington State, though. We got Drake over Washington State. Shout out Aubrey Graham, Drake, you know, that's his school, so we're going to take them over Washington State. And Iowa State, probably one of the biggest, I don't know if they're sleepers anymore, but they're damn near one of the biggest sleepers um, playing right now, uh, so I'm going to uh, easily take them. But on to the West region, we got Northern Carolina against either Howard or I don't know. And North Carolina's just not losing this. They're easily a number one seed. Michigan State, I don't even know how they're in the tournament, if I'm going to be honest. But it is Tom Izzo in March, and I do have faith in that. Um, but Mississippi State, I feel like they just blew somebody out that they shouldn't have blown out. So I'm going to take them. Grand Canyon's not bad. St. Mary's I'm not a fan of. And a 12 seed always beats a 5 seed. So here is my first 12 seed over 5 seed upset. Grand Canyon is up. Big Grand Canyon. Let's get it. Uh, Alabama, that's an easy choice for me. Charleston, I don't believe. Another upset, New Mexico. Um, this is a family-friendly show, but the homies say that New Mexico plays Negro ball. Like, they're they, 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 they going to get after you. Um, they fast pace. They're going to guard, defend. Um, and if you're missing shots, you're going to lose to this team. And I feel like that's what New Mexico is going to do to them. I have Baylor beating Colgate, even though Colgate is always a solid team in the tournament as a sleeper. Um, and here's another upset. 10, 11, and 12 are all winning in the West Conference. So, whoever's the higher seeds, Arizona and North Carolina, they have a chance. Um, we're going to take Arizona right here. Now, let's go up to the South Conference, which I think the winner is going to come out of. But we're going to get there, bro. Houston, I think they have two of the best guards in the country, if not the best guard duo in the country. Them boys are some dogs. LJ Cryer got that jumper. Shed or Sheed, however you say his last name, is one of the best defenders in the country. But, yeah, I'm going to take that. Right here in Nebraska, they got uh, Asian... Steph Curry, I know y'all seen him hooping he out here cooking. I think Nebraska, no, someone just got hurt recently. I think it's for, I don't know, someone just got hurt. But I don't know, Texas a and not a believer. Uh, and, you know, Wisconsin, not a believer. We got another 12-5 upset right here. Another 12-5 upset. Yes, Sarsky, yes, Sarsky, yes, Sarsky. Uh, I believe in Duke, though. I believe in Duke right here. I believe in NC State. Another, I, th I think I'm just upset taker this, this tournament. Um, Texas Tech. It's, they ain't got no Mac McClung. They're not gonna cook. They're not gonna cook. But we got uh, number three Kentucky beating Oakland. Even though Oakland is not a bad team, Oakland is not a bad team. Uh, right here, I think Colorado or Boise State beat Florida. Um, Florida big man just got hurt, so uh, they're probably gonna lose that. So whoever wins between Boise State and Colorado, I would say Colorado because they got like three pretty good players, like individually good players. They're gonna win that. And we're going to take Marquette easily over Western Kentucky. Tyler Kolek is going to be back, so Marquette should win that easily. Now off to the final uh, bracket. We got the Midwest. Okay. 
Okay, the Midwest. Purdue, I don't think they're losing to a number one, a number one seed. Um, I just don't think that's happening. Utah State, um, my bro played for Utah State, so hopefully y'all beat TCU. But Jameer Nelson Jr., he coming in there going crazy. I don't know. I hope y'all win, though. Uh, Gonzaga, easy. Kansas, actually, Sanford's not bad. I've actually watched them play a few times. Sanford's not bad, but I don't think they beat Kansas. But, you know, I am the upset king. I'm taking Oregon over South Carolina. Oregon over South Carolina. I'm taking Creighton. I got a seven-footer. Seven-footers in college are different, bro. Like, a seven-footer in college is just different. Uh, Virginia against Colorado State? I don't know, bro. Texas is not good, bro. I think I'm taking one of these teams over Texas. This is going to be another, whatchamacallit, team advancing to the next round. And St. Peter's, y'all are cooked, bro. Dalton Connett is about to cook, y'all. On to the round of 32. Trying to do this as fast as possible and not trying to be boring, but I got y'all. Don't trip. I got UConn easily. UConn's probably going to the Final Four, if I'm going to be honest. Probably. Auburn against San Diego State. I don't believe in San Diego State's uh, run last year, and I don't believe in it this year. I'm going to take Auburn. Auburn's one of the hottest teams in the uh, country. I think they're, like, number seven right now in the last poll. So I think that's solid. I'm taking Illinois, and I'm taking Iowa State. Yes, it's one, two, three, four. Um... But, yeah, I think this is one of the easier, like, more easily picked bracket in the East. But, hey, upsets can happen. I could be 100% wrong. I don't really care. I'm making this video anyway. It's March Madness, bro. We're going to have fun with it regardless. Um, North Carolina wins easy. Uh, Alabama wins easy. Upset alert. Upset alert. I got New Mexico advancing, bro. I don't believe in Baylor. Um, I haven't really believed in them at all this year. And I wouldn't be mad at Nevada possibly beating Arizona, but I think Arizona is just like, I don't know. They be, they be trolling this year. Like, they lost to SC, which is embarrassing, but I just feel like they can't do this all season where they just troll. So I'm going to go ahead and take them right there. Back up to the south region. Nebraska, this could really be a Nebraska dub if bro gets hot and just starts hitting everything. But I don't think Houston's losing, bro. I really don't. Um, I got Duke advancing. And right here, we got upset. I got NC State advancing. Being Kentucky. Being Kentucky, man. Get them three seeds out of here, man. They being Kentucky. And we're going to go ahead and throw Marquette in there. I don't think uh, lots of teams can beat Marquette besides UConn. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot of teams I'm taking over Marquette uh, right now, if I'm going to be honest. Even though they lost a couple games, when they're healthy, they're different. They're different. Um, North Carolina, Bama. I like North Carolina at advance against Arizona. But this New Mexico and Nevada team, the Mount West teams, I could really see one of these two teams beating Arizona if they both, you know, win their games. Like, they both could lose, but they could also make it to the Sweet 16, which would be insane. Um, and now over back to the Midwest, Purdue's just got Edie. My bro, I would really love to see you win another game. But I just don't think y'all are beating Purdue, bro. I'm sorry. Like, you're my homie, but ah, I can't do it, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Downtown Darius Brown. Shout out downtown Darius Brown. But I just don't know if y'all could beat Purdue, bro. But if y'all do, I'll be happy to uh, have my bracket busted uh, for y'all's sake to win. I don't know if that's a pause, but we're going to go ahead and pause it. Uh, Kansas, I think what's-his-face is going to be healthy, um, Dickinson. So he should be healthy enough to make it this far. And it should be good money. Creighton, I got Creighton advancing against Tennessee because you're the only 10. I see. Ah, ha, ha. Um, but, yeah, we have the Sweet 16, man. There's one in L.A. If y'all want to donate to me and send me to the uh, Sweet 16, that will be really nice of y'all. But y'all ain't got to do that. Right here, we got UConn and Illinois. I don't like this. I don't like having the first and the second seed advance. But, like I said, I think this is the easier um, – one of the easier conferences, the easier sides of the bracket to make it out of. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and take Arizona. I think I got ahead of myself. I went too far on this side, but it is what it is. We're just going to fill it out how we fill it out now. We got Arizona advancing over North Carolina to the Final Four. And then we're going to take Tennessee and Purdue. And then I'm taking Tennessee over Purdue to the Final Four. Um, a couple two seeds right there. Uh, back up to here. I got Houston winning, and I got Marquette winning. Bro, do I have all the two seeds in the final four, bro? Hey, man, two seeds. So, like, based off the fact that I have a lot of two seeds, it's all two seeds in the final four, I think that's kind of crazy. 
And now that I'm looking at my bracket, I'm like, yeah, this is going to be busted like the first day. But hey, man, this is all, you know, for fun and games. Uh, if this really happened, it would be pretty lit, if I'm going to be honest with you. It would be pretty awesome if this happened. But Arizona, in, in Arizona, they're going to lose. Iowa State, Marquette against Tennessee. I really don't even want Tennessee here, bro. Rick Barnes in March? I don't know, bro. But I'm taking Marquette, and we're taking Marquette as the champions. Uh, how many points will be scored? 136. Random guess. Um, you know, I got the inside scoop. But, yeah, we're taking Marquette for the win. Let me make sure y'all can see that on the screen. We're taking Marquette for the chip. And if y'all didn't know, I went to Marquette. So might be a little biased over here, but who cares, man? It's all cool. Um... Yeah, I mean, if y'all made it to the end of the video, feel free to join my bracket. I'm Jacob Rose. Uh, you can make up to three entries, and the winner, as of right now, will get $100. But we'll see what the money situation looking like in a couple weeks. Maybe it'll be 1000 Maybe it'll be 500 But we'll see. Only the people that really made it to the end is going to know about that. So y'all got to make sure y'all watch to the end. Subscribe, like the video, comment. Um, I'm going to make probably more of these brackets, probably on TikTok. And I'll probably be live on TikTok. But yeah, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and uh, go Marquette.